Hello and welcome back to my channel Kaji Data Online. In this video, as usual, I'm going to explain and give you an idea about how you can interface your Arduino project with the sensor. In this uh, particular episode, I'm going to explain about how you can use the picto block to interface with your MQ135. MQ135 is one of the gas sensor that are capable of monitoring a lot of different gases and also um, pollutants with regard to the sensitivity set up inside this pentoxiometer and also depends on the calibration procedure that you did for this particular uh, sensor. So basic interface of the sensor usually involve three pin as you can see over here. Let me just zoom a little bit. Okay, we have three input and output pins that are going to be connected at our Arduino side. So the first one is the VCC, go to the 5 volt, ground, and then another one is AO, is analog pin. And then you have this potentiometer to um, make some arrangement for the sensitivity of the sensor. Okay. And then um, if the sensor detects some changes or some pollutants that we set or we calibrate according to the sensitivity, the green light are going to be produced by the sensor. Okay, without further ado, let us interface with it. So the first one, you connect the VCC to the 5 volt of the Arduino. So this is the VCC. And then we have the ground uh, being connected to the ground of the Arduino. And then the EO are going to be connected at the analog digital pin at the EO of this sensor shield. As you know, in my previous video, I usually interface my Arduino project with this Arduino sensor shield version 5. The reason is because uh, it is make much more easier for me to interface with a lot of sensor interfaces so you can see also here is being connected with the hc05 bluetooth module which is we are going to discuss it later on so i'm just going to share with you how you can simply code this arduino project using the mq135 and also display it on your um, lcd so let's begin to uh, perform this action so first of all as you know i'm going to use the picto block as one of the mechanism for coding my arduino project so you can go over here and then proceed with the board okay go over here and then uh, choose your board accordingly and then proceed with your arduino uno board and then proceed with this connect uh, icon over here so it's give you opportunity to select your serial uh, port that are being connected with your Arduino. I'm going to choose this connect button and after that the initializations are going to be happen So the, the first step when you plug in your Arduino with the picto blocks You have to click this button to upload the relevant firmware inside your Arduino So the Arduino can easily communicate it with the picto blocks Okay, after doing so, then we are going to proceed with the coding part of the Arduino using analog read function. Okay, then your picto blocks are going to be successfully uploaded with the firmware. The next step, you have to navigate your cursor to this particular button over here. We can change into the upload mode. So in this episode, I'm going to interface with the simple MQ135 using Arduino Uno and also picto blocks. So the first one, you have to choose this Arduino head startup block. Okay, put inside the blank canvas over here. Okay, let me just zoom a little bit. And then you can ask for a few other materials in our canvas. Um, you can call upon all these things as a palette. You can uh, drag the palette uh, for the timing. And then you can go here and then you can also call upon the another one which is we call it as forever block and then proceed with the variables so variables in this case i'm going to specify as gas so just type over here gas and then you can set the gas inside the blank canvas uh, later on we are going to arrange it accordingly and then uh, just choose this arduino read analog function 
pin and then uh, do not forget to interface it with your serial monitor and therefore you can choose down here we got the add extension button just go over here and then request for relevant extension so in this particular example i'm going to just install or uh, give an example with regard to the communication at the picto blocks and then these picto blocks are, are going to show you the reading of the arduino at the serial monitor okay let us arrange this canvas so that we can easily interface with our mq135 sensor so the first one you have to insert this read analog function inside our gas and therefore it is already being initialized then put inside the forever block over here and then you just insert the weight button under the set button so by doing this automatically the arduino are going to read the values of the analog uh, pin at the analog zero okay this is what we interface just now and then do not forget to insert all the relevant materials with regard to the serial communication but the first of all you need to make some initialization so usually we set at 9600 and then we can just insert this uh, forever block down this um, serial setup and then proceed with the write on the serial function you can just put it down here at the gas and then remember to choose your appropriate variables and then navigate your variables on the left corner of the picto blocks and then you can drag those gas inside the hello world okay so by doing this actually you are already interface your arduino uno with the mq135 air quality sensor however i just want to make some notation here this gas value are actually not calibrated gas value therefore we need some sort of measurement to calibrate it first so that we can interpret what kind of values represent to that particular reading that will be come out from our serial monitor however that one will be covered in the future video so the next step is very easy you can just go to this upload code functions and then the arduino are going to building up your uh, materials compilations and also the uploading of the code are going to be processed inside your arduino uno okay now let us have a look what happened to the serial monitor because this is what i interface in the first time so i'm just going to go to the serial monitor and then change the relevant baud rate into the 9600 so that we can monitor the values that being produced by the Arduino Uno after sensing something at the MQ135. So basically, we can make change. Uh, we can make some changes uh, to do some sort of manipulations. Let me just uh, open one of the marker over here. As you know, the marker produce some benzene or xylenes that can be detected by this sensor so if you can see over here i'm just opening it a little bit and then the values increase rapidly so by doing so you can understand what kind of values that are already being exposed at this um, end of the mq135 sensor however please remember that this is not calibrated version therefore you have to make some calibration with the real and monitoring devices so that you can map the values with regard to the uh, voltages that being produced by so, okay so uh, that is interfacing with the serial monitor let us make this one much more better and also much more um, let us interface this one with something much more interesting where we can display it on this um, LCD with the attachment of the I square C so the way to do that is basically go to this display module function over here and then you can initialize your LCD using this initialize block and then proceed with the set cursor and then proceed with the right display all right so after you're doing so you can arrange it nicely just put this initialization on the top of your Arduino startup and then followed by the set cursor column down here at the 
write function for the serial monitor I proceed with the write hello world over here down to your set cursor so this set cursor are going to be um, basically talking about the first line okay this is the first line that we are going to interact our values of this mq135 into the lcd so the way to do that basically you can use this operator and then you can use the join functions just insert the join function over here and then write something to do with the gas value as example uh, double dot and then proceed with the variable over here and then insert your gas as a variables into this banana so basically we are combining the word and also the changes of the values that been detected by our mq135 sensor so after that do not forget to just go to this upload functions and then um, the compilations of this code are going to be occurred inside the picto blocks and then send to our Arduino Uno. So let us have a look on the interfacing um, mechanism of this uh, LCD after we uh, download this Arduino code. So if you can see here the gas value is also shown over here and then it's also shown um, on our serial monitor and in fact if you are opening this uh, marker that may produce the total volatile organic carbon uh, it's also showing the increasing of the values so by doing this increasing the values and then detecting all these gases you can further understand that what kind of the elements that involve in that environment and then make some calibrations so that our MQ135 can be used uh, for monitoring of air quality purposes okay i think that all for this particular video and then we are going to interface with this uh, mq135 in the much more complex with the another uh, kind of methods of interaction it um, beside the picto blocks this video is very interesting and you want to know more about how you can use your arduino and also interface with a lot of environmental sensor please do not forget to follow us on youtube channel just like share and the most important thing subscribe so that you are in the first row when the video the upcoming videos um, appear in your youtube notifications